Hello, I'm Hortensia Barre for the Finance News Network and joining me from Oncosil Medical is Managing Director and CEO Daniel Kenny. Daniel, welcome back. Thank you, Hortensia. First up, could you comment on the significance of the CE mark approval for your device? The significance of the CE mark is tremendous for the company. It allows us to now commercialise the device in the UK and Europe. It's a further validation of our technology and we will look to having uh, first revenues later this year. But more importantly, the CE mark significance allows us to also file in other key geographies such as Asia, which recognise the CE marking. And can you remind us about the treatment options for people with pancreatic cancer and the market opportunity? The global market opportunity for unresectable locally advanced pancreatic cancer exceeds $3 billion US. The treatment options are essentially surgery, chemotherapy or a combination of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. For unresectable locally advanced pancreatic cancer patients, the treatment options don't lead to good outcomes. The median overall survival for those patients is less than eight months and the five-year uh, survival is less than 5%. So with the introduction of the Oncosil device, we believe it could be a paradigm shift in the way we treat pancreatic cancer. Earlier this year, the US FDA granted breakthrough device designation and so did the European authorities with the CE marking. So coming back to the significance of the CE marking, mm -hmm. it's a recognition of the capabilities of the technology to improve overall survival, but also to potentially downstage patients from inoperable status to operable mm -hmm. status. And with that, we feel that this device can actually make a, a difference to the way we treat these patients who have this insidious mm -hmm. uh, cancer. And to the CE mark in more detail, can you tell us more starting with how your device helps to treat locally advanced pancreatic cancer? Essentially, the device is microparticles that are direct, uh, injected directly or implanted directly into the pancreatic tumour using ultrasound guided endoscopy. So the company has pioneered a unique way to deliver a radiotherapy device in a very difficult to treat cancer. The device is approved for unresectable locally advanced pancreatic cancer and the benefits that we've seen from the trials that have been conducted is a prolongation of survival. We're showing a doubling of overall survival from eight months to 16 months. And we expect that that maturing survival data um, will, will be further emphasized as we go forward. In addition, we're showing a, a compelling and exciting and highly encouraging rate of surgical downstaging, taking pa patients who have an inoperable tumor and downstaging them to being able to take them into surgery with curative intent. That's fantastic. Now, tell us about your European launch program. Well, COVID-19 has come at a time to um, basically delay our launch preparedness and our launch, but we are confident by putting our training program online to be able to launch later this year, COVID-19 pandemic permitting. So we do have five sites already established in Europe, part of our original R&D program. So those sites uh, where hospital access improves would be able to start treating patients later this year. So just to recap, the COVID-19 pandemic has clearly delayed our launch preparedness, but we're quietly confident that at the at later this year, the sites that are already established, who have already treated patients under our, our trial program, will start treating patients. So we'll just have to uh, assess the situation as we move forward. And could you update us on the approvals for other jurisdictions? Yes, the exciting uh, developments this year with the US FDA granting breakthrough device designation, the Europeans doing the same, and of course the CE marking gives us a, a tremendous regulatory platform in which to seek approvals in other key geographies. We have already filed in Malaysia, Singapore and Hong Kong. We expect to be able to file with the TGA uh, shortly. So um, on the basis of the regulatory success of the past few months, we believe that further approvals uh, are forthcoming. Now to the finances and your share price. Could you give us an update? Yes, uh, as of yesterday, we completed a $19 million capital raising uh, program comprising $14 million of institutional placement, where we've brought on board high quality uh, international and domestic uh, institutions. So we've effectively institutionalized the stock on the back of our recent regulatory success. And, and at close of business yesterday, we concluded a entitlement offer or rights issue um, 
valuing $5 million. So we've raised effectively another $19 million on the back of our regulatory success. We have pro forma cash reserves now approaching $24 million, which gives the company a tremendous working capital reserve to move forward to accelerate further R&D, secure new approvals, and of course, commercialize when COVID-19 pandemic permits. That's wonderful news. Congratulations. And lastly, Daniel, is there anything else you'd like to add? I think the company has uh, had a tremendous success this year with FDA breakthrough designation and CE marking. So we look forward to now moving into revenue generation. But this is not possible without a really strong uh, management team. And we've recently brought on board uh, Nigel Lang, who was the previous president of Certex Europe and drove tremendous commercial success for Certex in Europe. And he has now recently been appointed to Oncosil to be the president of Oncosil Medical Europe. And we look forward to Nigel generating equally a great success with the Oncosil device in Europe. We also have Charles Rowland heading up uh, US uh, Oncosil. And we are hoping to file next month. Well, actually, there's, without question, there's no hope here. We will be filing for bile duct cancer indication with the US FDA next month. And Charles will be a big part of that process as we move forward. So that's the other key highlights, moving into bile duct cancer in the United States with a filing next month and new management coming up on board to drive our commercial program. Daniel Kenny, thank you so much for the update. Thank you very much.